Planing concrete masonry walls is a key step to achieving a beautiful end result. Care must be taken, however, to assure that the cleaning method itself does not damage the wall. Code requirements are very clear. The mason is required to clean exposed masonry surfaces of stains, efflorescence, mortar or grout droppings, and debris. The standard for the work is set by the sample panel. More than any other function the mason contractor performs on a building, cleaning is a means and methods task. Best results come when the mason contractor minimizes job site stains during installation and then cleans the walls before mortar, grout, and stains fully harden on the wall surface. Here are some general cleaning recommendations. First, clean off mortar and grout stains as the wall is built to keep post-construction cleaning to a minimum. Second, protect the masonry materials and unfinished walls from mud splatters or water intrusion during construction. Water that gets in the cores of par partially constructed masonry walls can lead to efflorescence, especially if the wall lacks a flashing and weep system. Cover the wall when work is interrupted until the wall is capped to prevent this. Third, clean architectural masonry walls before mortar and grout stains have had a chance to harden. Typically, best results will be obtained by cleaning the walls after the mortar has had a chance to set up, but within four to seven days of laying the masonry units. Fourth, use the gentlest cleaning solution possible, including using just plain water and a non-metallic brush. If chemicals are used, use a masonry cleaner that has been proven successful with architectural masonry. You should follow the manufacturer's recommendations, but in general the process should include pre-soaking the wall with water thoroughly prior to application, and then thoroughly removing the cleaning agent by rinsing the wall completely and promptly after application. Fifth, always demonstrate the cleaning means and methods on the sample panel first and obtain acceptance of those methods before applying them to the building as a whole. Following these simple guidelines will lead to dramatically improved appearance of the finished wall and will provide the least risk of any damage to the wall during the cleaning process. For more information, please visit our website at concreteproductsgroup.com or send questions to info at concreteproductsgroup.com.